morning guys I am back um, with the long-awaited thousand subscriber giveaway we're almost to like 1200 so yeah I am pretty far behind on that okay so as I said like a month ago um, we're gonna do 10 um, so the first prize um, is a journal of your choice um, you can pick um, the color like a base color like if your favorite color is green then I'll make it greens and then you get to pick the style like do you like birds do you like uh, mushrooms do you like fantasy do you like vintage that sort of thing um, not necessarily the kit um, just the style and then um, this giveaway is open worldwide so it um, don't feel like if you're out of the United States that you can't enter because you can. Um, so yeah, that's the first prize. It'll be a journal of your choice and um, then you and I will discuss it and then we will, um, I'll make it. And like I said before, um, you have to allow me about four weeks or so to make it. And then if you're out of the country, it will take an additional like two or three weeks. So this could be like an eight to 10 week process depending um, for the custom journal. Um, so, and then I am making, or have made five of these, which we made together on Friday. I, is it Saturday or Friday or Saturday? I can't remember. Um, but just to show you, it's an ephemera folder and it's made with the blue, blue fern studio paper, um, Jen Bishops. Um, and I know you can get it on, at Etsy or on Etsy. Um, and it's the bird waltz and then it's got two signatures and six pages each so yeah that's what it turned out to look like so yep yeah, you would just stick your little ephemera in here so there'll be five of those okay and then then I made this little ephemera pack and there's four of these um, and they do vary just a little bit. Like most of the variation is like the color of this flower. I didn't have any more like four of just this one. And it was a variegated um, uh, ribbon or ribbon uh, yarn. So I'll show you one. Um, they for the most part have the v like very, very similar um, same papers, that sort of thing. So it comes with a sari silk closure, which you can use to close this back up or what whatever okay so this right here I'm not going to take it apart because believe it or not it was a little hard to put together um, and then this paper clip does remove so this outside piece here is just a folder that you can insert into a journal and this should be pretty close to a, an entire journal that you can make um, like just with the pieces like I'm thinking like one maybe two signature journal um, so we'll start over on this side. This is a paper clip. It obviously will go on your page this direction. Uh, oh, and I should say most of this is unembellished. Like it doesn't have laces. It doesn't have ribbons. It doesn't have any of that so that you can customize it to what you want. It's just basically ephemera bases that have already been cut, folded, inked, that sort of thing. Okay, so um, this one is an envelope. So you can put something in there. Okay. And then I just paper clipped it together like this. And then in this side, um, and I, you know what, I'm not sure what this paper is. Let me grab the little um, slips that come, oh, here's one. It is the Bow Bunny Charmed um, series. It's not every paper in that series, but um, just a few that my brick and mortar store had. So on this side, um, uh, maybe we should do it together. Okay, so then you have like matching pockets here. So one on one side, one on the other, and you can do it this way or this way. It doesn't really matter. Um, so this pocket has a little booklet, and this is the Prima paper. Okay, just a little booklet in there. Okay, and then this pocket also has a little booklet, kind of her Melinda, but then, then it's just a little paper pad inside. Okay. Okay, and then let's pull these out. Okay, so these right here are um, Nikki Adigan's trifold tags. 
and I have left this circle here and how you would do it is you would put your stuff like this and glue it down. I did not do that just in case you wanted to use your own um, ribbons or maybe, oh, sorry guys, sorry, your own ribbons or, um, you know, just wanted it a little bit different or maybe you don't want the closure, that sort of thing. But how these tags work is um, they're obviously trifold and there is in these pockets here, there's three pieces of ephemera. There's two little tags and a little card here and they just slide in there. Okay, and then the belly band here has a little journaling tag there and then a little envelope with a little card on the inside. Okay. Okay, and then this pocket here has two tags in it too, okay? Okay, so then that one folds back up like so. I probably don't need to retie this on camera, but you know what, if I don't then Then I'll end up losing this little circle thing and then that will be bad. Okay, so on this one's the exact same. I'm not going to take it apart, but it's got, um, this one is the rustic floral one. And I'm sorry, I don't remember which one this one is, um, but they can be found in Nikki's shop. And this one also has a little piece that you can um, put here to um, secure this down or whichever you choose to do. Okay, and then we have a little pocket like a little pocket here and um, some of the little ephemera that comes with it. So you would mount that and then if you just like glued three sides then that could also become a large tuck there. And each one of the other variation here is I just, um, it came in a sheet and so I just divvied up between the four, I just d divvied up the, the journaling cards. So you may not get the exact ones that are pictured here but they'll be very similar and I'll show you the sheet of paper that it is, okay? And then there's this tag pocket here and it has two tags here and then they both have places to write on the back. Okay, and then like I said, this can be inserted into your journal as a page, okay? Um, the other disclaimer I wanted to make is that there may be for shipping purposes overseas, I may end up having to take some of the ephemera out and kind of make it more flat um, for shipping so that it doesn't bulge up or anything. And then everything just fits back into here. Actually, that one went there. Okay, and let me show you that. This is a full sheet of what it looks like. So there is all those here and then they're divvied up between the four, um, so they'll come in like different, um, that's what I'm looking for. Um, they'll come in different patterns um, per the four, and then this just wraps around three times, right? Yep. And then I've just tied it in a bow. Like I said, if it ships out of the U.S., it'll probably, I'll make it as flat as possible, like I'll move, every, kind of shift everything up. So no worries, it'll, it'll be shipped in a safe, envelope and stuff. Um, I just didn't want you to feel like it got destroyed during shipping. You know what I mean? I mean, which can always happen, but you can never tie a bow on camera. So I'll have to fix that bow a little bit, a little bit later. Okay. All right. So again, um, all you need to do to enter is comment below. Um, you have to be a subscriber and yes, I will, I will be checking. So your subscri your subscriptions need to be visible. Um, I'm kind of a stickler with this. There's a reason the giveaway wasn't in the title. Um, I'm not actually breaking any community rules when I say you need to be a subscriber, um, because I didn't advertise it in the title as a, as a giveaway. Um, so yeah, there's that. So... 
Um, you have to be a subscriber. You, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. Not always necessary, but yeah, um, I'll be checking the subscribers. Um, how the drawing will work is I, the first name I pick will be the journal. And then the next five will be this one. And then the next four will be this one. Um, I am only leaving this um, giveaway up until, let me get the date here. Um, it'll be two, this Tuesday. So it will be Tuesday, April 21st. And then from there, I'm only like, you have 48 hours to respond. And if, if you don't, then I'm going to pick somebody else to get them. Um, so yeah, so the entire thing will be over by the 23rd of April. All right, guys. Um, I really appreciate everybody who has come to me and I thank you from the bottom of my heart and my kids and my husband. Thank you too. Um, it's been a wonderful year and a wonderful journey to a thousand and yeah, I've learned a lot and I've met some incredible people and I'm so, so, so blessed to be doing what I'm doing now. Um, so I hope you all are well. Um, hope you're all faring this um, COVID stuff in good spirits and in good health. And we will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.